baseboard around the edge. As you can see, the floorboards are all finished. I've got a few things left to do in this room, including nailing down the floorboards and putting in the thresholds on all three doorways. And of course, these thresholds aren't painted, so I'll have to go ahead and stain them so they'll be all ready to cut and put in place. I've also have some additional uh, baseboards that go in the closet that I haven't painted yet. So I'll be doing that today, or putting the first coat on, I should say. Even though they're white, as with the other baseboards, the it's just primer so far. So I'm going to be painting again. This is about half of them I've got up here on the star horses with the tarp underneath it so I don't mess up my new floorboards. So I will be working on the nailing the, nailing the baseboards down and painting additional baseboards so I'll have them ready to nail down in the closet this week. And hopefully by the end of the week I'll be on to other things like bringing and setting all the doors. And with that, I'll be getting really close to being able to move into my new office space. And that'll probably, with any luck, happen over the 4th of July weekend. And not have to mess with it during the evenings like I'm doing now. So, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can't continue putting some nails in. And I will get back to you here in a little while and talk about putting down some stain and some paint. Some old man. sections angled on large sections. However, the smaller baseboard, the way I'm doing it, is going to be exposed because it is. So I have to make sure I paint them. I will, as I did with the other boards for the, uh, for the rest of the room here, I went ahead and applied two coats of paint on subsequent days. And I'll do the same for this. Is I'll do the one coat of all this stuff tonight. I'll come back and do it again tomorrow, probably about lunch. And then tomorrow afternoon, I'll take these, put them back in the closet, and then pull all the rest of the ones that are in there, half, and set them up and do the same thing. So by Wednesday afternoon, or Wednesday evening, I will have painted all the closet baseboards. And by that time, hopefully I'll have got motivated enough to complete the uh, nailing process here in the, uh, in the office. As 
much as I would like to get this done quickly, I'd rather do it right.
and holding the brush for extended periods of time. It's not a serious cramp or anything, but if I was not having to hold the board up with my other hand, I would actually switch and paint with my left hand. Hold for a couple minutes and just let this one relax. But as it is, I don't have that luxury. Okay, let me see if I can do some additional switching here. When I was painting down in the garage, it was actually easier because even though the boards were longer, I was able to walk around to the other side. Here, that's kind of precluded because I've got those stain boards on the other end. Okay, here we go. I got two more to go, and we'll be done with the painting tonight. I still have more nailing to do, obviously. But we'll get there. As I continue painting, I'm trying to think of the next steps that I have to do. I took one of them before I started painting. And that is running my ground wire through the pass-through on down toward the ground. I have a, had a coil of 25 foot of, I think it was number 8 copper, that I went ahead and put a connector on that allowed me just to go ahead and slip it on the uh, ground point there, on the outside of the window, and then feed the the uh, wire through the screen because it's really small and just kind of feed it through and it hung down and then after I was finishing got it all through I just connected it on the connector and then went down and coiled it back up and one of these days soon after I've had some ch a chance I will actually tuck it in under something and actually measure it out so that it is not in the excess and just hook it up to the ground rod that I put in here a week or two ago. So it's, uh, I'm debating, it's, is it worth cleaning? Blue Hawk. Okay, this is uh, not the cheapest, but it's not the most expensive. So I'm going to toss it because 
I no, wait a second. I better clean it because I don't have that many extra brushes sitting in there. So it's worth cleaning because it's a little better brush. It's got better bristles. The little cheap ones, they're you know a buck a piece. I just throw them out each time because you know the effort to clean them is just not worth it. You should get a bag full of them. And, but uh, I do have the second coat on this, and I've got two coats on the other half of them, so. I figured I'd better take care of it so that I can actually make what I've got last. Uh, I've got to be careful. See the drips. Anyway, that's it for painting right now. I'm going to be putting in lots here, and we'll be continuing. Put the like, push the like button, and go ahead and leave a comment like to paint or if you've ever painted and subscribe you know the routine we'll see you next time this is some old man signing off <laughs>